Right, well, uh, I've got my trusty 20 watt bulb here, 21 watt brake light 12 volt bulb, and I'm going to connect it to the positive terminal of my battery, this bit of wire. <coughs> and what happens is it's coming on really dim and really slow as well. That's not very bright at all. And the reason for this is because I'm powering it through a hundred meters of relatively thin speaker cable which runs around the garden, you can just see it there, right down there and uh, back up here and there's still, most of it's still left on the reel here so we're getting huge amounts of I squared R losses and the power available at the light bulb is pretty minimal. And you might think this is a pretty stupid thing to do. Why am I running it through 100 meters of relatively thin cable? But I was wondering if there's a way that I could overcome these I squared R losses. Now, the resistance of the cable is fixed. There's nothing much I can do about that. But if I reduce the current, then of course I'd reduce I squared by the square of the current. So I thought, let's try high voltage. So what I've done is I've bought this. And this is a, a boost converter, a step-up uh, DC to DC converter. And I've soldered a little um, voltmeter on there. And I've set the voltage output on this thing, using the two potentiometers there, to 48 volts. So the voltage is going to be multiplied four times which means that the current will be reduced by a factor of 4 and that means that I squared is reduced by a factor of 16 so in theory by boosting the voltage up to 48 volts we should have a sixteenth of the I squared R losses in the cable let's see if it works now of course at the other end of the cable I need a step down converter this is a buck converter, um, step down DC to DC converter, takes the 48 volts coming in here and uh, steps it down, I've set it to just over 12 volts there, no real limit on the current and uh, let's switch it on see if it works. And there it is, and there's the bulb at full brightness and you can see that from the watt monitor it's showing 21.5 watts which is exactly what this bulb should take. Now, just to make the point that this is uh, working well, I've brought the far end of the circuit down onto the bottom patio. So let's go and have a look where the cable runs. Up here, all along there, round the garden, up the top, round here, back down here, and back to the battery. And if we look at the uh, boost converter, that's showing 47 volts. Now it's dropped to volt, which is not surprising because we're drawing 20 watts of load. But that's um, high voltage DC transmission over a long cable um, to minimise the I squared R losses.